and welcome to the MS for Mama podcast. I'm your host, Abby Halberstadt, happy wife, mama to 10, Bible-believing Christian. And on today's episode, I'm just going to give you a quick word of encouragement this week as we are coming up to Mother's Day. But before I get started, I want to talk about our podcast sponsor, Votberg Music Academy, not your average music lessons. You can use the code MS for Mama for 50% off your first month of lessons, which are already so much more affordable than private lessons and so much more fun. You have 24 hour access to your instructor. You have live onboarding call options. You have a vault that if you have already practiced all of your stuff and want more things to work on, you can get into, you can practice for community showcases. It's just fun. You won't have to nag your kids to practice. They will look forward to their experience very interactive and um, such a cool family. They were just on my podcast the other week and I love that I know them personally, know their heart for educating their own kids and then letting their experiences help others. Again, you can use the code MS for Mama for 50% off your first month. That means that a lot of your lessons will just be $15 a month and you can share that cost between students. Most families can get lessons for less than $30 a month, which is amazing. Um, I'll put all of that information in the show notes as well. So I just wanted to hop on here today and remind you in a week that can mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people, that if you already are a mama, you have been chosen by God just for this exact time in history to be just the right mama for your kids. He made no mistake when he gave you those specific children, whether it was biologically or through adoption or foster care or kinship fostering, whatever circumstances have brought you the children in your care, the Lord for knew this situation and he prepared you ahead of time for the good works that you're walking in right now. That's scripture. And I want to encourage you in that because you may be struggling with your role. You may be struggling with your circumstances. You may be struggling with the fact that your heart yearns to meet the child that you miscarried last year or even last week. Um, if you are not a mama yet and you are longing to be so, and you don't understand why you're not able to conceive or carry to term. My heart goes out to you as a mom who's experienced three miscarriages myself. I know the pain of losing a child, but I can't speak specifically to the pain of never having been able to hold a child of my own in my arms. And so while I cannot, I cannot walk your exact circumstances, I can tell you that I am praying for your heart this week in that um, the Lord would give you his supernatural peace that passes all understanding, that you would recognize that just like scripture says, he is near to the brokenhearted and that he has not forsaken you or forgotten you, that he has a hope and a future for you, even in the midst of circumstances that aren't going according to your plan. Um, for those of you that have struggles with your own mothers or who have lost your mothers too soon, you know I can't cover every circumstance of pain or joy. Um, it's impossible to address them all. But I want to talk to people that have those hard situations with their parents. I've talked before about how my struggle is not with my mom, but with my dad. And so this particular holiday doesn't bring up, um, doesn't bring up the same emotions as it would if it were my mom that was struggling with bipolarism or, or something else. But I want to stand with you and say, any kind of breach in relationships is a, it's a symptom of this fallen world that we live in. It is not what it will be like in heaven. And we know that this world is but a breath. It's but a vapor compared to eternity. So I just really want to encourage you in, even in the midst of your pain to pray for those who have wronged you. The Bible says to pray for those who persecute you um, and to forgive we are called to forgive because Christ forgave us. In fact, it says that we will be forgiven by our Father in heaven in the same way that we forgive those here on earth. And so I really want to encourage you for your own sake to choose forgiveness in the midst of hurt, even if it's not all over, even if the hurt continues. I know what that feels like, and yet the Lord is able to redeem it. And for those of you who view this as just a joyful occasion, um, I want to encourage you to celebrate and to praise God and give all glory and honor to him for the blessing of children that he has given you, for the blessing of a good relationship with your mother or a mothering figure. 
Um, but I also want to encourage you to pray specifically for those who are hurting. Um, this is such a cool thing that we do just once a year to recognize um, everything that mothers do for their children and um, to, to give thanks for them. But, but it's complicated. And so I just wanted to acknowledge that. And I wanted to encourage you in the Lord to stay the course, knowing well that I don't have the same course as you do, but knowing well that God has placed you on it and that he has good purposes for you in it, that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights in whom there is no change or shifting shadow um, and that you can rest in that. One verse that I clung to many years ago in a season of um, prolonged and very deep difficulty and sorrow was Psalm 27, 13. It says, I am confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So take heart and wait for the Lord. And that's my encouragement to you, both in a rejoicing season and also in a season of sorrow this week as we head into Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, friends. I hope it is a wonderful one for you, and I pray that you are able to rest in the peace of the Lord in it. If you enjoyed the MS for Mama podcast, I would be so honored if you would subscribe and follow along, maybe share with friends or even leave a review. And if you want more content on motherhood and biblical responses to cultural issues, be sure to follow along on Instagram at m.is.for.mama. 